Yo, what's up guys? It's Mac back with another CBSG. This is for January 16th. We had a few pickups this week. We had a kind of light week with DC and we had one image book <laughs> and then we had a bunch of Marvel. So um, let me show you what, what I got and uh, let's get this going. All right, let's start this week off with DC. We have Hawkman number eight, the Bill Sinkovich cover. But it's dope, that's why I picked it up, mainly for the cover. And I like Bill Sinkovich's art. Suicide Squad 50 by Matina, and I believe this is a connecting cover for the other issues, but it's kind of dark. Very cool cover. Catwoman number seven. This is a very, very cool cover. And I believe this is by um, Ben Oliver. Batman Who Laughs, number two. Also covered by Ben Oliver. Very, very dope cover. It's gonna be a contender for my covers of the week for sure, I have a feeling. Then we have the A cover of Batman Who Laughs. Pretty cool. We have Superman number seven. This is by David Finch. Pretty cool cover. All right, and I'll just throw in my one image book with DC. We have Middle West number three. And if you're not reading this, I would recommend it. It's a pretty good read, but the cover and the artwork are very nice in this book and on the other covers. All right, jumping into Marvel books. We have Amazing Spider-Man number five. This is a Phil Noto 80th anniversary cover. Very dope cover, in my opinion. Then we have Venom, number 10. Another Noto 80th anniversary cover. Very cool artwork. And then we have Venom number 10, the regular cover. It's been a hot week for Venom fans. Um, if you're like me and you collect statues, Prime One Studios just released uh, their uh, Prime One uh, Venom, Venom origin statue. I have one I need to unbox, so stay tuned for that. Uncanny X-Men, number 10, by David Finch. Very cool cover. Wolverine on there with the Sentinel. Return of Wolverine, number four. Another Return of Wolverine number four variant cover. Very cool. Marvel Tales Venom number one. It's a very thick book. Marvel Comic Presents number one. And this is by Andy Granoff. Very cool cover with cap on the front. Man Without Fear, number three, variant cover. And I'm, like I said before in the other videos, I'm just kind of digging these colors that they're using, these pinks and whatnot. Very cool. Iron Heart, number two. I haven't read this, but I was digging uh, the first issue. Hopefully this one follows up good. Invaders number one. And this cover is by Alex Ross. Very cool cover. Fantastic Four number six. Another Alex Ross cover. Very cool. 
Got an old time feel with this cover. And then we have another Fantastic Four cover. This is by Phil Noto. This is a 80th anniversary edition. Very cool. Black Widow number one. Very cool cover. Punch the glass. Black Panther, the Guardians of the Galaxy cover. And the regular Black Panther number eight, which I just thought was cool. All right, guys, that wraps up my picks for the week. So we'll go ahead and move into my covers of the week. All right. Honorable mention, Return of Wolverine number four. This uh, cover is by Wills Portacio. Hopefully I didn't, uh, you know, butcher the name, but I think I butcher all the names in these. But very cool cover. You have Wolverine with his heated up claws with a skull, and I believe that's uh, Sabretooth there in the back. But very cool cover. And... Uh, yeah, that's my honorable mention of the week. All right, first up, Invaders number one by Alex Ross. This is a very cool cover. It's got an old time war feeling on it. You have uh, Cap, Namor, and then the Human Torch kind of blending into the sky there. But this is a very, very cool cover. And you probably guessed it. Number one is going to be the Batman Who Laughs number two by Ben Oliver and get in on that you can't uh, put that nastiness in that mouth there but yeah this is a very very cool cover I'm digging the colors and the black and who doesn't love Batman who likes all right guys so that's gonna wrap up my covers of the week all right guys pulled out Hawkman number eight just kind of wanted to show off that cover and uh Let's show you some internal artwork. Very cool artwork on the inside. Pretty dope. I haven't read this. Uh, like I said, I picked this book up just because of the cover and Bill Sikovich. So I'll check this out. And if it uh, you know grabs my attention, maybe I'll pick up the other issues uh, from the beginning of the series. But oh, look at that. We have uh, The Reign of Superman. Um, definitely recommend watching this if you haven't seen it. This comes out, I believe, at the end of January. Um, so I'm definitely going to be picking this up. I've, def I've got the, the first, the first uh, uh, DVD, so definitely a little looking forward to this. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this week's CBSG. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. If you guys are in the statues, I just unboxed the XM Studios Hulkbuster that you can see in the background here. Very impressive piece. Coming up, I have the Dark Origins Prime One Studios Venom to unbox, and I also have a gifted uh, medieval spawn from one of the collectors in the community to unbox as well. So once again, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Please like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.